Hey y'all, I know I've been gone for a while. I know y'all probably been like, where's this girl at? But, I'm sorry. And I'm back with another video. So welcome back to my channel, y'all. And if y'all are new here, my name is Gwendolyn. I'm a teen mom, I'm a two-year-old mom with a two-year-old daughter by the name of Morgan. And if y'all want to know more about me, just... I'm going to leave like a little link to like my first video I ever made with like questions and a story time on me being a team mom and all of that. So y'all can check for the description down below or y'all can just wait to end the video and then click on like some other videos. The last video I posted was about me officially being confirmed that I was having a miscarriage. Say hey. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I just did. Me and Morgan have um, some twist outs, a protective style because I've been thinking like. I want to start growing my hair out. Morgan hair is already very, very long. She does have a lot of shrinkage. Like, it literally goes down to probably like the middle of her back. But, yeah, I didn't mind to y'all. I'm going to get used. I got to get used to it. But I think it's cute. Tell me what y'all think in the comments. But, yeah. So, we're going to do a little story sure. time today. Um... I decided to do a story time on the birth of Morgan, labor and delivery story. So, I believe it was. So, the money, mom, the value. What? The birthdays. So the I remember party. it was. I mean, I believe it was mm -hmm. December eleventh, twenty sixteen, when I was Zipper. having Zipper. like. Braxton Hicks or like the pre you know contractions from like so it wasn't the real thing but it was like close to the real thing so I was having those and then it kind of like went away and then the next morning December 12th I was like having like bad bad co contractions and this was the day that I was initially supposed to have her but this December 12th was the initial due date. That's what they put on my um ultrasound. That's what they had put on my ultrasound. That's what they said. That was the day that they said that I would have my that I would have her. So December 12th, I was having contractions and but they wasn't like the yeah. right amount yeah, of minutes apart like they fast, wasn't mommy. back to back they wasn't consistent or nothing like that so no mm -hmm. no so they wasn't like consistent they wasn't they wasn't like what it would be like to be in real labor so i had started walking up and down the hall um the next day which was december 13 i kept walking up and down the hall my mom had like a big yoga ball it was kind of like the birthing ball that you sit on. Close it up. Okay. It was kind of like the birthing ball that you sit on. I'm pretty sure y'all know what I'm talking about. Like the little ball that people be bouncing around and rolling on. Mm -hmm. It helps like open up your cervix and get you dilating and contracting down there. So I was doing that. And then <laughs> I was me. also walking up and down the stairs. Yes, And... What else was I doing? I had I had um asked my mom. I saw her. I was like, I think I should drink like some. I think it was black castor oil or something like that. It was something. I think it was black castor oil. If I'm not mistaken. It was something, but she was telling me like it's not safe to take because she get boo boo inside of me and stuff like that. And I don't want that because you can get infection and all that. So I was like, okay, scratch it off the list. So I didn't do that. I was eating a lot of hot foods, a lot of hot drinks. And yeah, so December 13th, that night, well that day, I was took into, stop, I was took into the hospital and they told me I was like one centimeter or something like that. I mean, when I was counting it, I thought it was like I was in labor. Like, it was no question about it. I was in labor. That's what I thought. But when I got there, they told me I was only one centimeter. That this wasn't, like, actual real labor. 
So I was there. They had checked and stuff. They said, yeah, you get to go home. They didn't tell me to stay there. They didn't ask me to walk up and down or nothing. So I was at home. And then my mama dropped me off. She dropped back off. My boyfriend was my baby father. And stop. <laughs> and um, that night she had one to work. So it was about... Let me say, it was probably like 11 o'clock at night when I started contracting really, really bad. I'm telling y'all, I was in the bed, but a ball naked. <laughs> and, get that out your mouth. I was in a butter ball naked, and I was just like, trying to like, find a position that would help with these contractions. Because y'all, these contractions was no joke. Like, I felt it all down here, my back, I felt it down here and i knew that this was real so i called my auntie because at first first off i was texting my mom i'm like i think i need to go to the hospital for real this time she wasn't texting me back it was nobody at home mind y'all i was 16 so i didn't know how to drive didn't have no car no license none of that so it was literally just me and my two little sisters at the house so i text her she not texting back and i text my baby father and I told him I think I'm gonna need to go into labor. And um I decided to text my auntie. And I text her. <laughs> Close it up. <laughs> I text her and I'm like, I'm gonna have a contraction that hurts so bad. I think uh, my mama not here, I don't know what to do. I think I'm gonna have this baby at home in my bed. So she texts me and she was like, like, I'm finna call you or whatever. So she called me, and she timed my contractions. Don't sh Morgan, you got to close this up if you want to be in here. Mm -hmm. So she was timing my contractions, and she, I think I was probably about, like, my contractions was probably, like, three minutes apart, four minutes apart. You know, close. But it was close. So she told me, she was like, she was on the phone with me. My job, she was on the phone with me. She was like, yeah, Gwen, you need to go to the hospital. Like, you need to call 911, and you need to have an ambulance come get you. So I'm like, oh, my God. Like, I'm thinking in my head, like, no, I do not want to just have this baby by myself. Ain't nobody here. It's only my little sisters. So the paramedic, she stayed on the phone with me. And I think she I think she called the, the I think she called them for me. No, I, I, she hung up, and she was like, call 911. So I hung up. I called them. I'm like, um, um, I'm at home. I'm having contractions. I think I'm going to labor. I think I'm in labor right now. And nobody's at home. Me, only my little sisters. So, so they tell me, okay, okay. She said on the phone with me till they got there. They came upstairs. They was knocking on the door. My little sister was going to unlock it. And they came in, put me on like this bed thingy, tied me down. Um, before, mind you, I had to get ready while she was waiting on the phone with me because I had no clothes on. So I had to put some clothes on by the time they got there. And then. I got put on the bed, they, get that out your mouth. Get it out your mouth. By the time they got the, I had my clothes on. They put me on the bed, and then, I think they had, I think it was an elevator in, like, the apartment, so I think they, like, put me in the elevator, or they walked me downstairs, I don't know which one. But, so my little sisters, my two little sisters had to get in the ambulance with me, and by myself, and... I had to I had to tell my baby father to like be on the way there because I'm in labor or whatever. So my job I'm scared because I'm thinking I'm gonna have this baby why ain't nobody there but my little sisters. So I get the I think by the time I got there, they checked me in and stuff, got me in a room. And when I got there, it was me and my little sisters only for like probably about an hour till my baby father got there. And they checked me, they came in there and checked me and I think I was I think I was like, get out your mouth. Give it here. Give it here. This don't go in your mouth. So I was probably about Give it here, mama. six centimeters dilated, y'all. I was probably about Give six or here. five. I remember it. I was, I had dilated like fast as hell from that morning time. Like I was only at one centimeter. By the night time, I was gone. So they had told me like, yeah, you're six centimeters, stuff like that. And... I told them that I, I wanted to get the epidural, so they gave me the epidural. And by this time, I think um, 
her dad was there. I think Morgan's dad was there. So he stepped out. My sister stepped out. They all stepped out together. So they stepped out where well, they gave me an epidural. I saw this needle and I was so freaking scared. But they like put this plastic on my back with tape. Then they stuck the needle in there. It felt like it felt like a um like a burning sensation. Not like it wasn't like it wasn't that bad, but it felt like maybe like tingling, burning, something like that. But I'm it didn't hurt that big. Like everybody was saying how they were saying I would have thought it was like worse than that, but it was not that big. The epidural was not that big. Um I got that, then I was good to go. Like, I, before I got the epidural, I was in the room just crying and whining and moving at the side, holding on the bed like this, like, oh my God, no. crying no. and bawling tears, y'all. So by the time I got that, I was talking, I was fine, I was chilling, eating ice cubes, they bought me jello, they bought me juice, and I was just chilling. And then, I think about, I think in less than, you know, probably like, in... So after I get an epidural about to around five to six hours after getting the epidural, I was fully dilated and ready to push. I was ready to go. But I remember before pushing, I remember my dad coming to see me. I remember my baby's father and mom coming to see us. I remember um, his stepdad coming and all of that. So then, um, so, um, I remember them all coming and, um, when it was time to push, like, I usually hear about stories how a woman having their first kid, they only, like, I mean, labor for like a long time, but me, I feel personally my stuff went so freaking fast, y'all. Like, no kidding. Like, I kid you not, my stuff was probably, my labor was probably in total from, like, December 11th from the Baxter Hicks, Braxton Hicks. I feel like I was in labor for, like, a short amount of time. So, I was in there pushing. Um, My baby father was holding one leg. The nurse was holding one leg. I was pushing. And I pushed her out pretty fast, y'all. Pretty fast. I feel like I was pushing for about 20 minutes, and she was out. Um, they was like, oh, my God, you're so good. It's your first baby. Um, they told me that I didn't tear. I didn't need any stitches. And I feel like the worst part, y'all, of, ha of like having a kid going through labor and stuff, I feel like the worst part is delivering the placenta. Oh, my goodness, y'all. Like, when they was pressing on my stomach and, like, trying to, like, deliver it and stuff. <sighs> y'all. That's the worst part like it hurt it so bad i'm like ouch like dang and she's like i know i know i just gotta deliver it and then it's good and then when i had to come back and keep like checking me it like freaking hurt it so bad but um yeah after that they delivered the placenta and um they had to make sure i peed again they had to make sure i did the number two again then they also gave me like a little a little bottle with like water in it to like spray down the which was like paradise y'all y'all if y'all know what i'm talking about if y'all gave birth before y'all women y'all know what i'm talking about that thing feels so good for real but um yeah and yeah she was she was born i believe i think she was born 6 30 she was eight pounds 15 ounces december 14th 26 so yeah and i remember seeing her and i was just like oh my god this is my baby and then i just instantly just fell in love with her i already was in love with her from the moment i found that i was pregnant but when i actually seen her seeing her oh my god like i was in love like in love and i was just crying i was like oh my god so I had pushed her out and 
then um i think i i did skin to skin i also did breastfeed and she last on pretty good she was a fat chubby baby so yes she was eating um and yeah But yeah, that was it. I feel like my labor went really, really, really fast. Um, and yeah, that's it, y'all. That's it for the labor and delivery story of Morgan. So if y'all like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if y'all are already not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button down below to join the family. Oh, crap. And yeah, I'm going to see y'all in my next video.